What is going on my broadskis? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to go ahead and do some Pyre Rumble matches with the brand new championship series now currently live. So yesterday's video or maybe a couple of days before um, I uploaded a video talking about the single match going up against the brand new smoothie team if you guys haven't seen it yet go ahead and check it out but uh, in this video today we're just going to be doing some regular matches with my teams and see if we can uh, you know get some really cool victories today. Um, one thing I did want to point out about the Super Pirate Rumble. Remember, this is where we can go ahead and compete against uh, other players um, and earn points for our alliance and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is here is that if you actually look at the seasons and phases at the very bottom there It says championship or exhibition June 5th until June 12th However, it does mention that the ranking and the mission period is going to be on June 9th Which means that for the first like three to four days of this event period There's actually no ranking in the Super Pirate Rumble to like get the points to actually like rank up against other people It's very bizarre, but I also kind of like it So basically what this means is is that you will not be earning points for the overall mission for the actual Super Pirate Rumble itself until June 9th Obviously if you go ahead and rank up, you know through June 5th between June 5th and June 9th You'll still get points and stuff like that for the actual ranking inside the game itself But the actual Super Pirate Rumble ranking against other people and alliances earning points for that Having point boosters for you rogue and you know other you know PvP Ravikrit characters that doesn't start till June 9th And I think it's actually okay that they did this because it means that there's less of an opportunity to spend a, a lot of gems really To rank up against other players. So I think realistically it does it's really weird I don't know why they decided to do it this way, but I think when you really really look at it I think it is a good thing for the game, so there's less time spent spending gems to rank up against other players. So let's go ahead and actually find some teams that we can go ahead and challenge today. Now, uh, the teams that I have here are all pretty similar to stuff that I've already been using. You know, we, I'm not really using the, the striker strength team, but I'm using, uh, you know, a dex team, a side team. We have a relatively good int team that we uploaded the other day. Um, that is not my quick team. This is my normal quick team that I go up against. And then we have my strength team. So we've got basically one covered for every color. And, you know, sometimes depending on the team opposition, we will not be challenged them but let's see if we can actually locate some some decent matches here today all right let's see here the bottom one actually that looks really good we're going to challenge that straight off the bat i did not even know that that was going to be there but hey that seems pretty good to me this guy that we're challenging is actually rank 11 which is pretty high and um, one thing that is really annoying about the dex teams is the fact that you know luffy is on the team which means that he can revive one of the characters and the character that is probably the most annoying is probably moria to be honest uh, Moria just does like a lot of defense down and then he does damage to us so we really want to deal with him But the fact that we have Kaku and Toki at the start means that they automatically start with like huge defense reduction and CT reduction So that really helps us out. So ideally we just get kid to uh, mollywop these guys But you know, we got some defense down versus those guys, which is good um, No dog storm is, in, is is on their team either so they don't get the additional effect of cat viper But that was a lot of damage and Toki's already knocked out. That is actually crazy um, We actually inflicted confusion to all of them. Oh my god. That is actually exceptional dude The waifus coming in so clutch right now it actually it confused all of them oh man so they're not launching their specials anytime soon that is so good um, it would be nice if we could just quickly hurry up and get them down let's see here kid good damage there holy dude Cat Viper is going to hit pretty hard. You know, it is what it is. But we, we, we came out and set out what to do. We wanted to knock him out with Kid Special. And that's exactly what we did. So at this point, like, there's just no way that they can win. So <laughs> that's a very, very simple and clean GG, my friends. That was looking a little scary for a minute there because that Moria did so much damage to us. But, you know, it's fine. You know, we out here. We're going to secure that victory eventually when we get to it. Come on. Where is it? Okay, Waifu is going to get the win. Nice. Dude, the waifus came in super clutch there with that confusion effect, just negating them from using their specials. It's such a broken effect. I love the Hancock, Nami, and Robin unit. Great addition to the strength team. But there we go. Pretty pretty easy dub there, actually, uh, to start us off with the video, which is good. I don't want to cut any of this video out. I want to uh, just show you organically how we're finding teams and stuff, because I know a lot of people are interested in that kind of thing. Uh, that bottom team looks okay, but I am going to skip it. The one in the middle... Yeah, also kind of want to skip that one. So I did do a little bit of ranking up before we started this video today. 
Uh, I, I, I don't really feel comfortable challenging that six-man team at the bottom. Seems a little bit too difficult. Too bulky for my liking. See, that one, that one we probably could challenge, but again, it's a little too risky. That one in the middle, 26 points, yeah, I think we'll challenge that again with another strength team. You know, I didn't really want to use the same team over and over again, but hey, if the shoe fits, right? You know, we're going to go ahead and challenge this one. Uh, another dex team with a strength team, and this one looks a lot easier than the previous team too, so I think we should be okay. Uh, I know Rayleigh can provide a lot of extra bulk. I don't remember exactly what V1 Brook does for Pyro Rumble, but I have seen some Dex teams use him in the past, so obviously he has some use, right? Uh, and of course, we already know about Luffy. And who's, who else on the team? Doflamingo. Yeah, Doflamingo's a pretty interesting choice too. Um, he mainly only provides like really good buffs to the Driven class, or at least the attack buffs to the Driven class, so uh, he basically makes himself hit really, really hard. And especially when that timer is low, whew, that Dofi probably is the best nuker in the game in terms of... Uh, you know, you know when the, when the time is low. Uh, I'm not, not really a big fan of Final Tap Law, to be honest, in Pyro Rumble. I think he's actually kind of underwhelming. All right, Kid's already going to come in with the special. It actually did knock out Luffy, but he revived himself, so that kind of hurts. But either way, we're going to get some additional CT and some healing off of that. Uh, when Odin comes in, he will do pretty good damage, which is good for us. Actually, he might knock out a couple of them, to be honest. Oh, let's go, dude. Knocking out the Rayleigh. That's a good one, though. So, knocking out Rayleigh means that their defense is going to be a lot lower than what it really should be. Uh, Luffy does hit really hard, too. But, ooh, Toki just survived that. That was really, really close. Ooh, the CT went up for Brook. Hopefully, we can knock him out. We did. Okay, we don't have to worry about that Brook no more. That's really good for us. And then we're just going to normal attack our way to victory, it looks like. Okay, so Toki got knocked out. But, you know, that, that doesn't really matter too much to us. We have Arlong with a special. We got Waifus with a special. All right, Arlong, let's see what you're going to do. Good damage, good damage. Now, Dofi, he's going to hit really hard, but you know what? He's not going to be doing that anymore because he's inflicted with confusion. So now he's going to lose all of his special CT, and we just win. Oh, okay, this is just to win more <laughs> with the kid special towards the end, too. Yeah, so again, pretty impressive victory. Yeah, this strength team is pretty successful. I haven't had any losses with it thus far. It's been pretty effective. It's not really good um, defense-wise. You know, definitely bulk is, is a bit of a problem with this team. But offense is definitely not an issue, and especially with the waifus as well, they can provide uh, that really cool utility of confusion. No issues with this one so far. So, all right, let's go ahead and see what else we can find. Hopefully, we can find an opponent where we can use a little bit of a different team. But you know, we'll see. We'll see what we can find. <clears throat> okay, that team at the bottom. Yeah, a little too risky. Odin is just a real big problem unit. He just hits really hard, and action blind is is a bit of an issue to be honest. Uh, I mean, using Odin is amazing, but um, dealing with the opposing Odin, not so much. So that team at the bottom is a very risky one because you gotta, you gotta keep a lookout because there is a Kainu. A Kainu, if you're using a strength team to take on the Dex team, a Kainu can wreck you, especially because Dofi on the team does buff a Kainu as well. So you gotta be very, very careful about that one. Very, very cautious. Hopefully we can find a team that we can use a little bit of something else. But everyone is using Dex teams as their defense, which is a little bit weird. But it does kind of make sense at the same time because uh, the brand new 8th anniversary Luffy is just a huge, huge addition to those teams. Um, but again, I just want to keep keep going until we find something that is a little different. Um, this team at the bottom, I think we're going to use, uh, use our Dex team against this one. This is, is going to be a lot of fun. So it is a predominantly quick team, but of course you see Smoker on the bench, Kuzan at the main line. I, I mean, it does kind of make sense because Kuzan with his special and his, I think well, at least with his passive, he does buff quick units. So that does kind of make sense, but I, I never really understood why people would even opt to do this anyway. Because Kuzan, you know, he himself is a Psy unit, so he doesn't really get some of the benefits of some of the other characters that you usually run in your team. But Kuzan has a really good special, so I guess I can kind of comprehend why people would be doing that. And of course, if you're using like Dogstorm, for example, Dogstorm literally cannot hit Kuzan with his special because he only targets um, quick enemies. So that's obviously going to be a bit of a downer for us if we get to that point, but... We're going to tank Izo Okiku. We get paralyzed, though, I believe. No, okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. So, Dogstorm, he's going to hit relatively hard. I like that Dogstorm's going first because he gives a pretty substantial um, pretty substantial attack and defense buff. So, we're going to hit, hit that health cut with a Kaino, which sucks. But um, with Borsalina, we're going to get another attack and defensive buff. So, we've got those two buffs from those guys, which is huge. Um, which means we're not really going to take too much from Kaido, even though he does normally hit really hard. And this is good here, getting with Mori. The defense down, the huge defense down, good damage. And then Luffy. All right, let's see. Hopefully, we get a couple KOs here. Let's see. Okay, we got rid of Corazon. It's not the best. It's not the worst either. Cat Viper actually should hit really hard too. What's his attack stat right now? 29? 
Oh, come on. Please get a get a hit off. Oh, luckily he didn't get special binded. Okay, let's see. Let's see it, Cat Viper. Good damage. So we knocked out three enemies there. That's huge. And now we've got Shiryu. I don't know why Shiryu wouldn't be on the front line. That's a little bit of a weird choice by the opponent. But either way, we're out here. And Borsalino will be able to give us another attack and defensive buff when he comes through. So we're going to eat this up. This is not going to do any damage to us. Obviously, it's a really annoying special. I love Izo Ikiku, by the way, but yeah, against a Dex team, it doesn't really do too much, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you don't see that too often. You do not see too often where Borsalino KOs someone, and not only did he do that, he KO'd two people. So Whitebeard is out of here, and we're just left with Shiryu. This is actually a pretty decent defense team. You know, the, the Dex teams right now are incredibly strong, and, uh, you know, that, that actually took a, quite a long time to take down, so not, not too bad of a defense team, my friend. Not too bad at all. All right, so we'll take another victory there and we'll move on and hopefully we can see if we can find a strength team. I'd like to use my own quick team against it, um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and recover and see if we can, you know, get one or two more matches in uh, before we end this video here today. Ooh, that team at the bottom? Nah, Wano Law. Wano Law's too strong. I, w I was almost going to use my in team against it, but it's a little too risky. Uh, that team at the bottom, I think we can, we can, definitely, we can definitely deal with, but we, we don't want to challenge another team that we've already challenged. Uh, a pretty bulky team at the bottom. That team at the bottom looks also pretty good. We're going to skip that one. <laughs> the exact same team that came back around. Another... No, look, I want to challenge that team, but no, I want to try something else. <sighs> Again, another team that we can use a strength team. We might have to cut it until we actually find a team. All right, so we found another team here. Let's see how we go against this one. This is a really scary team uh, because of Luffy crew. And, you know, you've got a lot of free spirit units. you got Jack for some bulk. Odin's annoying. Ace is annoying. Kid is definitely annoying. So let's see how our mono quick team can deal with, uh, with this team right here. I, I feel pretty confident. I'm a big fan of this V2 Brook, by the way. I think he's a phenomenal option for the quick team. Yeah, if I had my own legend smoothie, I would probably try and use her on a team because of the fact that she's boosted in the Pyrumble Rumble and stuff like that. But uh, I, I really do like this Brook because he can give that CT, uh, the, the haste is what it's called, haste. He's putting all those characters to the top of the order. Um, we really hope we can get a Kainu to launch first. That would be really, really good for us. And it looks like that is going to occur, which is very good for us. So they're getting that health cut and the damage and additional damage versus strength. And then Kaido is going to launch as well. So that's about as optimal as we could have gotten. Unfortunately, Odin's chilling at the back and he's just avoided all of that damage. But we do get the opportunity to use Izo and Okiku here, which uh, are a really good special here. Like they, they hit really, really hard against some of these guys. Luffy's already knocked out for the first time. We got rid of Ace as well. That's incredible, dude. We do have Brook. Brook here is actually really bad in this situation because a lot of our characters have already launched their specials. So we really hope that he hastes Shiryu. Yeah, it looks like he did. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. Gonna get a bit of damage. Knocking out the lore. And unfortunately, Odin is still chilling at the back. He's gonna come in and hit real hard here. Okay, we tank it. We tank it. That's good. And, oh, no, kid. Oh, no. Oh, that was a lot of damage, dude. Oh, no. And Luffy. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Dude, the kid and the Luffy combo absolutely demolished us. Um, Sober Mask can launch, but I don't think it's really going to do... Oh, he's dead. No. Uh, Whitebit, I think, is just going to miss out on his special. He did just miss out. Can Groggy Monsters get it? Groggy Monsters did get their special. We really hope that this is enough to kill. Oh my god, it's so close. No, Odin! Okay, it's Whitebeard. It's up to you. It's up to you, Whitebeard. It's up to you. No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm going to keep that, in one, that, that one in any way. That was a pretty awesome match, despite the fact that we got the loss. Man, you really just can't trust these teams, man. Luffy Crew and Kid. Ah, oh, man. I thought we had this one in the bag for sure. Dang it, dude. All right. Well, I think that's just about going to wrap us up, I think. That was a pretty cool video. Obviously, we, f we found a lot of really, really cool teams, but definitely be very, very careful. And that's why I, th like I did say in my tier list video about the quick teams in Pirate Rumble, like they're good, but they literally can still lose versus the strength team. Whereas when you think of like a dex team versus an enemy quick team, in a lot of cases, like 99% of times, you're not going to lose. Or if you're using a strength team against a dex team, 
normally, like 99% of the time, you're going to win. But if you're up against a strength team because of Luffy crew and Odin who hits really hard, you know, and Kid, you know, he do that damage through defense, even Legend Kuma, for an example, if you end up using him, those teams can still output so much damage through what Quick is aiming to do. So that's, uh, that's really frustrating that we got that loss there. But hey, look, it is what it is. But that's going to wrap up this video today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, good luck on your farming for the uh, the Super Pie Rumble in the Championship Series. Hopefully, many of you guys are in the Championship Series. That would be great. But that's going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.